Okay. We're here. It's the Jim Norton Show. Thursday. Raw Dog. Sirius and XM. What are the channels again? I forget. Steve, unfortunately, uh, the 104 and what? 150. And 150. Uh, Steve, our producer, is out um, having a hysterectomy, so Christine is here covering for him very well. Thank you, Christine. All right. And uh, I guess uh, Bobby and I have uh, Will here. Will yeah, Silvance. what's up? Will, Will Is it Silvance or Silvance? Silvance with an I. Okay. I know you 15 years. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. It's okay, Jim. Um, so we're here. I'm very cranky today. You, but what's different than any other Thursday? Dude, I have to come here. Um, I have to come here after doing radio in the morning. I have to go back and sleep. And then I, I came. And that fucking Mayor Bloomberg, Broadway... Used to be six lanes, and now it's one lane because of that billionaire asshole mayor who wanted New York to look like uh, San Francisco. And it's not supposed to be San Francisco; it's supposed to be New York. <laughs> a big ass park in the middle of yeah, exactly another another park. That's what he wants. He's like, it should be should be more comfortable for people to walk around. And, but he said there's going to be less traffic this way. How is it less traffic? Because people are too busy committing suicide. <laughs> uh, they just pull over and they gas themselves in garages. I I have to say because I live in this area, this is my hood. Yeah, I'm two blocks away from Times Square. Are you talking black because I'm here? I yep, Good. absolutely. That's why I told you to be here at one thirty. It's a two fifteen show. It worked out, didn't it? I I, uh, I was here at one thirty. <laughs> he gave me the wrong address. I was at thirty eighth Street. Oh, did he really? Yeah. Stupid and then he cursed asshole. me out. Where you at? Where you at? You asshole! I'm like I'm, I'm on thirty eight six. He said walk to seven. I'm saying I'm, I'm walking to seven. Oh wait, are you on thirty eight or forty eight? I'm like you fucking dickhead. You were up by ten blocks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I you know the four is right next to the three on the iPhone. When it is, it. but you could also resend it. <laughs> I didn't even know. Cause <laughs> what do you have, like a two two checks a month plan? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he's on a bike, though. He would have never made it. I was he's like, oh, he's he's never... a cab. I'm catch a cab. <laughs> this is the middle of the day. They don't stop. For, they still don't stop for black people. Do you have a, you have a bike, a bicycle, or, or a motorbike? No, a bicycle. A bicycle. Okay. He pulled up. He just whipped it out. It actually took. It was quicker for him to get here from 38th Street than it was for him to park his stupid bike. It took him 20 minutes to find a <laughs> dumb pole. The, the, all the poles are taken. I know New York was so. Healthy. Healthy. Well, everybody's riding bikes. Well, again, that's because of all the, the car lanes have been taken away. So there's bike lanes installed. I'm sure you notice from riding a bike. Yeah, they put a bike lane everywhere, like on a one way street. That's yeah. tiny. And yeah. those and those little fucking medians, those little those little areas with potted plants. Yeah. Times Square is just fucking horrendous. I, I actually like it. I, I, I went down the other night, uh, all the stores are open until two in the morning. You can walk around the streets now without getting killed. I me and my wife went in front of uh, Forever Twenty One and got our photos taken. But you could have done thing. that before, right? Yeah, exactly. No, Wait, you man. get hit by a car. Where man do you get killed besides Hall? Them. Yeah, you can get if the, if you can't Town take, Square, you get killed. Yeah, if you if the roads were open, you'd get wiped out trying to stand in front of that camera in front of Forever Twenty One. Yeah, there's all kinds of fun <laughs> stuff. All right, that was worth sitting in traffic for. So Bob and his wife, he had a fucking photo that they could take anywhere. <laughs> in a photo booth. No, but you go up on the big Trinitron screen, like you're up there. You can see yourself up there. What are you a fucking and then a girl, a girl, exactly. A girl comes out with her pocketbook and will actually, if you stand in the right spot, she'll grab you by the head and pick you up, dangle you, and throw you in her pocketbook. Did you move to Jersey or something? What the fuck? <laughs> you I swear to God, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what this means. I just know that there were six lanes, and now there's. Fucking two lanes, and then and then there's no lanes from 44 to um whatever whatever, because right. right. they just put a big ass plant and 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 extra trees. That's exactly what it is. It's it's, it's supposed to look like a fucking comfortable lounging place, right. but this is a city of commerce and business. I, I wish homeless people come there and sit there like a gang of homeless people just take over that area. I would love that to become gang territory. <laughs> Murders every year, rapes. I would love I would love that asshole to have to put traffic lanes back in because it was safer. Alpaca N words. Can I say that? Yes, you can actually say the word if you want. We haven't <laughs> until you got here. Then we stopped. A pack of N words. We'll say. Ah, Even black guys are saying N words ah, now. We're fucking shit. the battle's no, lost. It's over. <laughs> ah shit! Political correctness has what? fucking kicked us all in the what teeth. The fuck! He just said N word. A pack of what is a pack of uh, niggas? He said a pack of niggas. What's well, how many it's is two or more of you walking down the street? <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Yeah, if I'm with ten friends, it, it's ten of you. If I'm alone. It's two or more. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Will's a guy we know a long, a long time, a, a funny dude. Yeah. Um, where are you living now? I thought you were in Jersey. I ju- yeah, in Jersey City. You act like you come and visit all the time. I'm in Jersey City. Well, I That's were, true. You did. I never go and visit. <laughs> well, exactly. You, 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 you never come visit, but you said it like, oh, I've been looking for you. I went to your house, yeah, and they you said you moved out. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I know where you live in Jersey, but you have a bike today, so I didn't realize that you fucking swam across the Hudson with your bike on your... <laughs> How did you come for the I'm, fucking bike? I'm Nor- Haitian. You forgot. Oh, that's right. You are. <laughs> Norton's in a fucking vile mood. Today. No, but I, I didn't hit a bike. I didn't assume. Sorry, I didn't assume you crossed a body of water. Well, you know, you could take the bike on the train. You know, oh, is that what you do? Yeah, on yeah. the pad train. Yeah. Hey, you are, you are you are Haitian. Did you did the uh, the earthquake? Did you do you have people who uh, your family was affected or no? I had some cousins that are missing. They're just missing. A lot of people are just missing because oh, wow. they, they just can't find them or or they just body just been taken away. And nobody because they didn't mark the bodies and then. You know, so people. It was just, just clean up, like kind of yeah. like New Orleans at one point. But are they yeah. are, are they dead? I mean, you consider they're, them dead now. They're dead, not yeah. missing now, right? Yeah. Well, deep, I mean, I got some family that they're just in, in still sad about it. So just think that they're gonna pop up one day, but it's just sad. Well, they're not, so you, not yeah, sad. you you had people that. Uh, how long have you been out of Haiti? Like you, have you grew I up was there? Born, I was born here in New York, okay. but I went I went to Haiti two years ago. Did a show. I went like last month to do another show. It was, it was awesome. For uh, for be- for benefits. For benefits, yeah. Now, when you were a kid, did you grow up there or no? No. Oh, you spent your whole life here. Yeah. Okay. So the, uh, the but earth- in my house, it felt like I was in Haiti with my mother and my dad. All the stuff, you know, the way they live, it's like a Haitian household. Which means what? Um, uh, plants everywhere. Uh, uh. Uh, orange peels on the wall, the wooden forks hanging on the wall. Orange oh, peels on the wall. What the fuck? It's for good luck and it's make, oh. make the house smell better. Yeah, orange peels do smell nice, but don't they get rotted after a while? Yeah, you only keep them for like a week and then you throw them out. Do they know that there's like they get like uh, air, take your time. air take fresheners your time. and take, stuff? Take, take your time. Like take Lysol? Your time. Have you heard of <laughs> Febreze? <Take, take laughs> orange Jesus. peels are cheaper. <laughs> oh, yeah, Febreze is like gonna, a buck. You, you get to eat and you get to smell, make the house smell good at the same right, time. There you go. Why waste? You know, we, we're giving back to the earth. It's called green. That's what I was trying to get to. Haitians don't waste. <laughs> <laughs> so you grew up poor or, or middle class? Or? I grew up poor. What did you, your parents do? Uh, my dad worked for a transit, and my mom worked at a factory. Oh, okay. You had a funny joke. Will, Will had a really funny joke. I, I love your Haitian stuff, because I've seen your act many times. And uh, Yeah, Will's a very, very funny guy. Thanks. Your, your Haitian jokes always make me laugh. Oh, yeah. My, I'm really imitating my dad when I, when I um, imitate my dad is like, why you do these? Like when he get mad, he'll voice his voice get higher. He'll start stuttering. Why you? Why you? Why you? Why you? Don't take out the garbage. Not tell you take out the garbage. Mm-hmm. Oh oh. <laughs> what is oh oh? Oh, that they they just they always say that like oh oh like when they when they shop oh oh. <laughs> Steve got raped. Oh oh. Steve got whipped. <laughs> when he get whipped. That's funny. And, and and you know, Will Will used to run one of the most successful shows in New York, the Sunday Night Black Show at the Boston Comedy Club, which was sold out every Sunday. Oh, yeah. I mean, line out the door. Oh, to was, answer your, your next que- your last question about uh, when, when is considered a pack, uh, <laughs> that would be that <laughs> Sunday Night Show. This is, this, is how much, crowds, though. this is how much of a fucking motherfucker Will is, though, is that when I first moved to New York, Will was very particular who he put on the show because it was such a successful show. He didn't want people just fucking stinking up the stage and uh i remember you put me on one night this is what he did he made me wait till the end he literally ended the show turned the lights on and then went oh yo we got one more and then put me on stage at the end on the black show wow with the lights I, on I, that happened or you, yeah you just you made think, that up no you think I, I would never forget that the lights were on you turned the lights on people were getting up and they had to sit but, back hold down. On. You killed. Uh, let me tell you something about Bobby. He he will destroy. He'll be like, I gotta go on. I gotta go on. I gotta go another show. He'll destroy, tear the room apart, and then he'll sit and wait and watch the next comic bomb. Of course, he that's, that's the, every like, comic. <laughs> <laughs> that's all of us. So What's wait, you went it? on? Did you kill or die? Oh, he kills. He no, killed every time. I, I I did good, but I stopped doing it after that. I I was scared shitless. No, he, what do you kill? What you talking uh, about? It was, that's it's still scary. You, dude. Bill Burr, no one did okay, but no one no one had a okay. good set one time, and but. Then, but fucking Bobby and Bill Burr. I please. never bombed, but I didn't. No, I, I don't bombed, kill on black though. shows. I do okay. I survive on black you shows. You know what it is? The way he looks, and they, they were like, "Is it like they looked think they thought you was like a racist? Like, what, just, what is this guy going?" Patrice was right though. He said, "I have a face that black people just can't like." <laughs> <laughs> My sexual stuff does very well in front of black crowds, like the sex stuff, the dirty stuff, but the other stuff. There's a weird connection, and I don't, I don't know that that we don't make, and I can feel it. Like I was at the Tampa Improv this week, and I'm on stage, and I'm fucking murdering, 
and uh, and to the far right, there's a table for black people, two couples, and I could just feel them not hating me, but just not enjoying it. And then I go into the Tiger Woods stuff, which I completely back Tiger Woods in my act, and then all of a sudden they warm up, like, oh, okay. it's, it's a really weird thing. It's almost like you have to show them that you're not... Racist. It, maybe. Is that it? Do I look like a racist? That's what it is. Well, you got to talk about stuff that they relate to, too. I mean, you start uh, talking about... No, 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 no. I, it's, it's a look. You just look like you, you just hate black you're, people. You're a bald you white like guy with a black shirt on. I do and blink a lot. Yeah, you're right. And Doc Martens. And you blink hard, <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> and you look like you say pack of niggas a lot. Oh, I come with pack of niggas. I always have, yeah, I always have to edit myself. That's why I always have gum. So when it come, uh, you hit a, do we hit a button? I can't hear anything. Yeah. Did I hit a button or did you? No. no. A button guy. The, the N-word button. Press that N-word button. Oh, okay. wait, can you still hear, Bob? I can hear you. I can hear. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's just my headphones. Yeah, I can, it's cutting in and out. Oh, yeah. good God. All right, we're fine. We got to take a quick break anyway. We're going to play some... Um, uh, comedy uh, that we let Will pick. So this is uh, a Damon Wayne's. Uh, now, now I can kind of hear. Now I can't. I'll just do it like this. Uh, Damon Wayne's track. Um, which is one we're going to play, Christine? Jerking off. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is it? What, yeah, which one? Jerking off. Jerking off. Mm. Oh my god. I knew what it was. It's just so much fun to hear her say that. <laughs> oh my I'd like her to. I'd like. To, I'd like you to grab me by the shirt collar and say that angrily at me. And shake me. All say right. It. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Man, my oldest son just turned fourteen. Ain't that scary? 14. I'm like, damn. This boy's tall. Got big feet and shit. I'm like, damn. You know what that means. He's, you know, playing with himself. <laughs> He's at that age. I got two masturbators in the house now. <laughs> One of us got to go. <laughs> See, I know he's doing it. I know he's doing it because the boy spend most of his time in the bathroom now. You know, he come home from school, make a beeline right to the bathroom, right? Don't say hi or nothing. He's like, hey, Dave, how you doing? <laughs> come out five minutes later, all relaxed. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Nigga, I don't want to shake your hand. <laughs> See, I know what he's doing. You know what I like to do? I like to mess with the door when he's in the bathroom. <laughs> Just keep going, hey, Dave, <laughs> everything all right now? Can you get some paper? <laughs> Just keep throwing this rhythm off, son. Can I get you a <laughs> You know what I'd like to do? It'd be real mean, but it'd be real funny to kick the bathroom door open <laughs> and not even acknowledge what he's doing. Just like, boom, time to eat. <laughs> and then sit across the dinner table and just stare at his ass. <laughs> You're not gonna eat your sausage, son? He's growing so fast, man. Wear my clothes, he mess them up, then put them back in my closet like I don't know. I didn't know there was a syrup stain on my shit, you know? It's such an awkward age for him, man, because his arms come down past his knees, you know? He got to keep his hands in his pockets because he's just so insecure about his size and shit, you know? The voice changing, got three hairs on his nuts. He kind of has to jerk off now, you know what I mean? He just abuses it, though. Anytime there's something he can't handle, he go jerk off. <laughs> he's like, Spaghetti again? I'll be right back. <laughs> I feel bad for him, because I know he's starting something he ain't never going to be able to stop. You in for life once you start. Once you start playing with the knob, it's over. I'm like, damn, man, you think with technology, as advanced as it is, they could invent something to help you stop jerking off. <laughs> right, they got a patch you put on your neck and it stops you from smoking. Why can't they invent a patch you put on your nuts so it makes you uh, simulate an orgasm, you know? Call it dicotine. <laughs> Right? You get stressed out, you orgasm, right? You be in a car accident, right? Boom! It's like, man, what's wrong with you? It's a brand new car! I'd have beat your mother! <laughs> oh, shit, hold up, hold up. Wait, hold up. Oh, shit. No, don't touch me, don't touch me. Oh, oh damn. Hey, man, I'm sorry.
See, but they can't invent nothing like that, because that would be like the new drug. You know, there'd be patch houses all across America. <laughs> communities have to these patch houses are ruining our communities, and we're not going to talk. Oh. oh, shit. Man, I tell you, having kids, you know, I thought after I got married, I'd be able to stop, you know? I'm like, damn, I'm married now. I don't need to jerk off. Then like two weeks later, I was like, damn, I'm married. I need to jerk off. <laughs> right, because the first thing go out the window once you have kids, sex life, just gone. Right, because you always got kids around. It wasn't always like that with me and my wife. That's why we got all of them kids. <laughs> hmm? Anytime, anywhere, right? She'd be in the kitchen cooking. I walk up behind and say, hey, babe, what you doing? Hmm? What's, the, what's that you making? Hmm? Can I taste it? Let me taste that. It's a low stove. Where y'all headed? <laughs> I like what I taste. I just hit it off. Bam, right there. Just hike it up. Wow, 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 wow. That aggressive sex to just make it hurt. Just, just, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Where's my cigarette at? I know it hurts. The fuck the hurt. Make that shit. The fuck the hurt. Right? You get creative. You're like, get your ass up here on this refrigerator. Get your ass up on the refrigerator. No, watch this. What? That's one. Here it go. Ain't like that no more. Now the kids are always around, you know? We gotta act like we ain't fucking now. Now we be in the bed just rubbing. <laughs> Good morning, son. <laughs> Can I help you? Help, 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 help you with your homework? Uh, <laughs> just keeping your mom warm. It's a race now. Now it's like playing that game, red light, green light. Remember red light, green light? Like, red light, green light, one, two, three. <laughs> Lucky you. We're back. That was a Damon Wayne's bit. We're coming back to music. The headphone issue has been resolved. Thank God. Welcome everybody. back to Jim Norton and Bobby Kelly on the Jim Norton show. <laughs> Save that. That should be the opening to every show. <laughs> and then you should go, what's that little thing you do? Why you, why you, why you not listen to Jim Norton? <laughs> there is nothing to listen to but Jim Norton. What's that little thing you do at the end? Uh-oh. 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 Steve got raped. Uh-oh. <laughs> I keep I keep looking over his uh, the stuff. Will sent me a bunch of stuff, his bio and stuff, and I keep cracking up at the stuff. He, he it's just hilarious. He, the first one is founder of Short Film Cuts, uh, Shortcut Film Festival. Yeah, uh, he loves boxing. And then number three, he kills me. Used to build robots before starting doing comedy. Yeah, I went to school for electronics, and all Haitian house households make you go to college. But I, I kind of find out I love electronics. I'm a big gadget freak like this guy. Yeah. And um, I, I was building robots. I, I had a career building robots. These big six foot tall robots. You probably see them as Six Flags, and they walk and talk, talk and they dance with people. And I used to repair them and make new parts for them. You know, it's funny because uh, Bobby, t we were talking about you uh, last week about how technologically uh, it, you're ahead of everybody on the technology stuff. And I remember you're the first guy I saw using the headphones. Like on a on a cell phone, if I hold a little cord and talk into it, it was you. You were the first guy I actually saw with that before anybody else had it. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you're always on your laptop working on something. And I didn't yeah. realize you were so technologically uh, advanced. Yeah, I didn't know you were so good at it. <laughs> well, even when he lived with Patrice, I remember he used to be in his room all the time making uh, editing videos. Oh yeah, I would, he, he would like make his own infomercials for <laughs> product. What was that? Screw the, screw the nail? You, screw you. Screw you. I wrote this what commercial called Screw You. Basically, um, these screws that screw themselves. Introducing Screw You, the screws that screw themselves. And then I just show the screws screwing into the wood. And all you guys do is put them on the wood, wood and go, screw you. And these screws are... Oh, is it a parody commercial? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was like a, you know, it was just like a funny uh, Wait, video. He was doing it back before, I mean, YouTube was even that big. Yeah. It just how these commercials screw you, but it just, that was a 
pun on that. Screw you. My thing is this though: why, if, uh, why, if, why didn't you jump on the YouTube and get some fucking YouTube stock? You know I, oh, yeah. I, I, I should have. I, I, I thought YouTube was hot, but back then I also was lazy in the sense of I didn't hop on shit like that. I came up, I came up with the the first MySpace shit. I used to say there should be a, a site <laughs> where you go on like a, it's like a club and you can see people's faces and shit. I came up with that in 98. You invented but, MySpace? Yeah. Hold on. No, no, I swear we've, just crawled, we've just crossed the line into Will as a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> Before yeah. me, people were just writing notes and holding it up, and then I said, make it into a monitor. <laughs> <laughs> and then the internet was invented. Oh, boy. This motherfucker went from building it, robots to creating MySpace. I'm telling you, I got a lot of inventions, but I got this awesome app, this app that's fucking awesome, but I'm, going, I'm, holding, I'm holding off. I'm looking for a, a, a programmer to program it. I could make a billion dollars. I swear to God. All right. Okay, a hundred million dollars. But you think you can make money off it? Yeah. But I, I just get a programmer. I, just you get got find somebody you trust. You see what happened to the guy at Facebook? What Zuckerman? Yeah, he's yeah, a billionaire. He stole he stole that idea from his roommate. Did he? No. Yes. You got? Are you on medication? Did you? Did you <laughs> what? Did you guys read what the did book? You say? I am actually. <laughs> yeah, and and I'm take, fucking uh, retarded. So <laughs> I take Nexium. I take uh, Allegra D. Valtrex. <laughs> <laughs> I take herpes cream. <laughs> <laughs> What uh, I didn't know, I thought he, inv I thought no, he his, invented his roommate, Facebook his too. Roommate, his roommate came to him and said, hey, I got this idea, can you program it? And he started programming it when they went on recess. They had recess in college? Yeah. yeah. Spring break, stupid. Oh, I thought well, you had no like idea what he's talking about. When they laid down and had nap time, <laughs> <laughs> he was having his yeah. milk. <laughs> what the fuck is recess? So wait, okay, so the one guy, they went away, and the one guy... And then he never came back to college, and he just took this idea. Isn't that what happened with uh, Windows, too, and fucking uh, with Bill Gates Bill and Gates, Jobs? Yeah. White people just steal shit and make a lot of money. That's what y'all do. Y'all stole this island. And black stole people black steal people. shit and make not no. a lot of money. Yes, you guys are paying us back, though. One fucking, one, one blonde at a time. <laughs> 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 I thought the guy who invented <laughs> Facebook actually invented it to get laid. No, no. Are you the, sure he invented? He wanted look to at get the preview in the movie, and they got a movie coming out in October called. Yeah, uh, I know. Did you did you did you see it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Did I see the movie? No, I saw no, the did preview. Did you see the preview? Yeah. Did you get anything out of that? I don't remember it exactly. Your roommate is suing you for a hundred. Didn't you see that right. part? That uh, scene. I'm not doubting you. I'm just asking you. No, you doubted me. That, you're tired. Right. I did. I did doubt you. It is the tone Listen, of doubt. Haitian. Relax. <laughs> it is the tone of the doubting white man. <laughs> I got a shredded Haitian with a wife beater on, pointing his finger at me. I'm scared. <laughs> hey, wait. You, so when you were in Haiti, by the way, do you speak what language do they speak in Haiti? It's Creole. 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 Okay. Yeah. I took. Uh, I worked with Haitian. A couple of the funniest guys I ever worked with. Uh, Give one. Philippe. Philippe, Kimo Philippe. Philippe Dessessard and uh, Lionel uh, Louis Charles. Those sound like inventors, Haitian inventors. I never heard they of them. They were very funny guys, yeah. but they taught me a lot of good Haitian dirty words. I just can't remember any. Peel uh, caca. I remember that one. What's that? Uh, that shit pile? Still, peel your cock. Peel your caca. <laughs> is that what that is? Why would he teach you that? That's a pile of shit. Um, oh, you know, I don't know how to say Haitian curse words. Okay, I was, maybe I was banned from it in my in the house. They didn't curse. No, your father didn't curse. Nah, how did your parents communicate? They, they, <laughs> <laughs> they just wave at each other. Can I just say something? I don't have herpes. I was just joking. I just want to let her know that. So you got a cure? You got a cure? <laughs> no, that was obvious when you said herpes cream, which doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? Because <laughs> I take oh, Valtrex. So <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Please, oh if I was herpes cream, I'd eat it. <laughs> All right, so what... Uh... <laughs> Thank you. Put it on your sandwich. <laughs> hey, put yeah. some herpes cream on that. <laughs> With yeah, mayonnaise. So what... Um... You, so your parents didn't curse at all? They no. religious? Yeah, religious. I was born, raised Catholic, and uh, they just couldn't curse. My my brother, he used to stutter a lot. This is like a true story. He used to stutter a lot. And then um, my mother go at the dinner table. It was his birthday. Like, Waggy, what do you want for your birthday? He, he goes, um, I swear to the guy, he went, I want a pussy. And my dad just like. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot have that, and don't you ever ask for that again. <laughs> That's funny. So, you know, <laughs> Will actually is one of these guys, too, that he's got this social ability. Women, he, he shows up anywhere he's at, any, Patrice's barbecues, he has at least 17 unbelievable, gorgeous women with him. You do and know the one ugly girls. Ones. The key to keeping pretty women around is not fucking them. 
Exactly. It's also the key to being gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's also the key, the key to keeping a lot of cheesecake around is not eating it. What's the use of having it? <laughs> but Will, that, you know what? I think because they pick up on Will's energy, he's not trying to fuck him. He's not trying to fuck him. Oh, you know, I mean, uh, I'm scared of death for AIDS, just to be honest. Why? Why? They, AIDS? AIDS? You can beat AIDS. You can take a cocktail and you can have AIDS and live. Exactly. For, Look at Magic Johnson. Forever. He fucking. Yeah, I don't got Magic Johnson money. To, to cocktails it's are like expensive. AIDS. It's like go to GNC and oh, yeah, get the oh, AIDS so cocktail. I'll just go get some AIDS and just get some medicine. That's, that's Who do you know that died of AIDS? Uh, a few people. Friends, family? Uh, f friends of friends. Not I know friends that have AIDS. I mean, have HIV, but I know friends of friends that died. But do they get it? I know a lot of people died of AIDS, and it was mostly drug users. It's not mostly, or I don't know anybody that got it just from fucking a girl. I actually- No, I, no, I, none of that. But, you know, I'm still scared of it. I talked to a doctor, and I was telling him that I was afraid of AIDS and wanted to get tested. He goes, do you get fucked in the ass by men? This is honest what he said to me. I go, he said, do you have sex with men in your ass? I said, no. He goes, do you use drugs with uh, needles and drugs? No. He goes, don't worry about it. How you pay me? He said, don't worry about it. He goes, they can't just say that it's really, really hard for a straight guy to get AIDS because then guys will just go bang. You have to say it's everybody can get it. It's w easy. Women get it easily, though. Yeah, because they have the vaginas. Oh. Because ah, you're sticking the thing something that we inside trying to get. Them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> or the thing that terrifies us because we think it has teeth. You know how it is. <laughs> we all have issues. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, so. You, well, you, so it's not just being scared of AIDS, though. What, what is it? You don't fuck these girls. Do you? Just, are you not attracted to them, or do you? Just... Uh, no, I'm attracted to them. I'm attracted to them. I jerk off to them. I use them for jerking off material. Do you have a small on. penis? One penis. Do you have a small penis? Do you? Oh, no, I got. A, I got. A, I got a medium-sized monster. Did you okay. see the photo I sent you? Did you see his? Bulge in that no, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Will's, like, Will's an amazing. He's in the best shape of any comic, uh, save Rogan. Maybe. He sent me a photo, like nine photos of him, uh, and one he's in a Spartan outfit, <laughs> just shirtless. He's got, he's got like a twenty pack, and then he's got a little loincloth over his fat mule. He just it looks like a baby's arm. Just, look at the photo; it's on your phone. It's it's unbelievable. All right, and but you lived with Patrice O'Neill for a long time. Yeah, which is um, you know we all know Patrice. What this is one of my favorite Patrice moments is Patrice brought a big fucking fat girl home and it's a legendary story. He's a girl he used to just jerk off on in the basement. She was horrendous. And he t he's told the story, and uh, it's it's my favorite relationship story. It wasn't a girlfriend. It was just some chick that he would some big fat cell. And you saw her. None of us ever met the fat bitch from the Wiz. That was her name. Yeah, fat bitch from the Wiz. I remember the fat bitch from the Wiz. The fat bitch from the Wiz. I remember she the fat was a bitch monster. From the Wiz. Yeah, she, you saw monster, How bad yeah. was she? She was uh she she looked like a car, a character from Trek. <laughs> really? She was that bad. But but real skin tone. Not like, you know, Right, not not fucking bad. She was like, oh my god, but you know, like I I don't like to embarrass people. So I was on the phone and I was talking to my boy on the phone, and I saw I just did like, hey, what's up, Patrice? That like that, but I and that nod that I did, I nod, I seen everything. I'm like, holy shit, <laughs> Patrice fell off. <laughs> I remember the fat bitch from the witch. But she lost a, a bet. <laughs> so when he was walking down the steps into the apartment. He was walking. We had these spiral stairs, a duplex apartment. And he, he and it was like, and he said he was tiptoeing, but she was not tiptoeing. It was a thump, thump, <laughs> thump, thump, thump. I'm like, what the fuck is going on there? And he and said, you try to sneak out. You can't sneak that out. <laughs> She's too fat to sneak <laughs> out. <laughs> Yeah, she. Everything is. We don't have creepy floors, but she <laughs> made the floors creepy. <laughs> they had linoleum, and it still creaked. <laughs> Concrete steps. <laughs> Big fat cell. But my favorite story is he said Will just looked and was polite, and it was so annoying because you he knew, <laughs> he knew that you weren't going to say anything until he got back in the house. When he came back in, did you tease him? I was like, hey, what, I said, what happened, but you, I, you know, I, you know, I know what's going on with. Every person's story. I know, you know, if he was feeling sad that day, right. so he just wanted some, you know, vagina. Yeah, sometimes you just need a person larger than yourself to kind of take it out on. So it, and we've all had fat it, chicks. Basically, Patrice would do anything with a hole. If it was a mattress-looking thing, we got a vagina. He's in there. He really. I can't do fat girls. I, can't I like. I, I don't mind. You never a big did the fat girl. No, I've done ugly chicks. I'm not. I'm, this is not coming from a place of arrogance. Right. I've done some fucking horrendous-looking people. Right. I like an ugly girl with a good body. I fucked ugly trannies, but just not a fucking fat wow. girl. You serious? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> just been making that up for 12 years. Um, <laughs> it's like, how do you, you go from fat chick to ugly face to trannies? It's just like, all right, I, I tap like, out. I'm out. It's like, oh, shit. There's no, so you won't fuck fat chicks, but you fuck trannies. 
All right. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an excellent point. <laughs> At least they tried. Did we say that? Or was that my conscious talking? <laughs> I've actually said that to myself in the mirror. That's on. That's on the back, on the bottom of uh, Snapple bottle caps. <laughs> we gotta take. A, do we have to take a break? Mm. Okay. Um, uh, we'll, we'll come back. We have played another comedy clip. Another guy will requested is. Um, Tony oh yeah, Tony Roberts is a really funny guy. So we'll play. Uh, we'll play a Tony Roberts. This one's called Nasty House. I don't know the bit, but I know, I know who Tony is. Right. And uh, we're on uh, Raw Dog Serious One Hundred Four XM One Fifty. Before we do it, do you have any plugs, Bobby? I'm yeah, we have a through. plug for uh, we have a plug for uh, Will right now. You want to plug your show at the end of the month? Oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to be at Caroline's next month, September sixteenth to the nineteenth. Me and um, me and my friends going to be at Caroline's. Come and how can they out. get tickets for that? Oh, go to Caroline's dot com or two one two seven five seven forty one hundred is Caroline's. Yeah. Yep. Are you hosting a show and just kind of bringing guys on? Yeah. Okay. All right, um, 16th through 19th of September? Yeah, 16th to 19th of September. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to be at the laugh, uh, the Stress Factory uh, the end of September. All right, 732 so. 545. Ha ha. Worst fucking number. Be right back. <laughs> Some women have, you know what? I see, I see some women looking clean, but you go to their house, the house nasty. The house so nasty, you got to wipe your feet on the way out. Because you don't want to mess up the city. The house is terrible. I'm a one girl house having sex with her. She asked for me roaches, I had my coat in my hand. I was like, girl, I kept having sex though. <laughs> I can't kill. Oh, everybody. You need to help me with, kill that one, kill that one. What the hell is you? Spray. Spray. Let's go to the car. Come on, let's go to the car. We get to the car, she got roaches in the car. It's a get her, man, get her. Girl, there's a roach in your car. How you have roaches in the car? They don't care. She started the car, they go, they, they come up under the seat, put their seatbelt on, look out the window. I said, you got roaches. She said, are they buckled up? That ain't the point. Jesus. Well, some of these ladies, you can't refuse. You just can't refuse. I had sex with an ugly girl one time because she had a tattoo of a pretty girl on her shoulder. I'm looking right at her shoulder. I'm protecting my eyes. I ain't prejudiced. I don't care what race you are. You can get it. I had a Chinese girl hitting it from the back so hard, popped her eyes open. Oh, bam! She was, oh, damn, it's bright in here. Where'd you get that lamp from? <laughs> Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Here y'all looking good. Oh, my God. All right, back to the program. But sometimes I'll be running and running, I can't even get my breath. I stopped smoking cigarettes. An evangelist told me to stop smoking. She came to me, she said, Tony, the Holy Ghost wants you to quit smoking cigarettes. I smoked a pack a day. I said, whatever. The next day, I quit. No craving, no patch, no gum. She told me to stop. The Holy Ghost already talked about it. And I, 10 days later, she came to say, the Holy Ghost wants you to stop using profanity. I said, forget that, show me a note. You trying to run my life. But I talk to that lady all the time. And when I see, you know what made me really get close to the church? When I seen the Passion of Christ. But I, I didn't get the regular, I didn't go to the movies. I rented the bootleg. I bought the bootleg for $3. I knew mine was bootleg, because on my copy, Jesus was fighting back. I said, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> he would have the cross, bam! He said, wait a minute, I don't know you. So nobody put their hands on me. He had no mustache or beard or nothing. I said, that's Usher. They ain't even Jesus. The Jim Norton Show. But because this is uh, the title track off Never Say Die, I think we should just let this play. About three minutes. All right, we can't do that. But we just want to listen. Ah, fucking Ozzy's the best. All right, thank you. I say thank you because... Christine is running the board today because our producer is out. Steve. Yeah, Steve Steve's is out. He's a great guy. He is a great guy. He's a fucking unshaven creep, though. She's much nicer to have in studio. She, he's a great guy. He does a great job, and but she is goddamn beautiful. She's lovely. Oh, yeah, hot. she's beautiful. But I don't know how to run a board. I don't know how to do it. So you sit behind a board, and I'm looking at Bobby you know, to my left and Will's to my right. And that's a rap song. It really is. Bobby's <laughs> to my left and Will's to my right. That's it. And okay. buttons that's in where front the white of me. guy stops. And buttons in front of me. 
See, that's why they're good at it. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> See, the things that white people think are good, black people would think are terrible. Like, black people would go, that stinks. But I'm like, that's very good. They're musical. God bless them. <laughs> he said buttons. <laughs> so I don't know how to run the board. That's why there's always someone to run the board. So uh, we were talking, Will's in, in good shape, and we don't have to talk about another comic's body, but Will, uh, Will whipped himself into shape because Will was never in shape. You were. I was 210 pounds. How tall are you? I'm 5'8". Okay, so and a half. Uh, wow. you're an inch and a half taller than me. Uh, a, um, 210, wow, I didn't know you were that big. I was a hot mess. Why'd you get in shape? Um, I was just, I was just a, this girl told me this thing, and it just, I just shocked me. I, I did the show, and I got off stage. I got a good show, good show. This girl I was dating, tall model, and I, and, I, and I came up to her, and she said, I, you know, I was expecting, hey, good show. She said, either, either go on stage with a shirt or go on stage with a tank top without the stomach. I'm like, what? She said, go on stage. God, well, I used to wear my tank tops, but then I didn't, never saw my stomach sticking out. Oh, my God. She, said, she said, either wear a shirt on stage or go on stage with the tank top without the stomach. What a twat. <laughs> what a fucking <laughs> awful model. But that yeah. woke me back in shape. Uh, yeah. wait, wait, how long were you dating her for? Uh, like, uh, like a year. Oh, maybe I'm sorry to me to call you. Did you love her? No. No. Okay. She was a stalker. She just appeared in my house out of nowhere. Really? She was just a kook? Yeah. And she, you started fucking her? Uh... You didn't fuck her? I, I, I did, but I, I, I wish I didn't, because that's what made us stalk me. Oh, really? We'll give her such a good fucking, give her pussy such a good beating. I actually made a, a, a prostitute who was supposed to give prostate massages quit the business. Why? She, she was at my after a fucking five-mile run? She was, she, was at my, <laughs> she, was, she was at my house. She gave me a regular massage. She just gave me a regular massage and didn't even touch my butt. Why, we were just you dirty? Left. Oh, she was awful, too. No, it's just my ass. Oh, really? it was I would awful. imagine just fucking just saying, you know what? I'm going to rethink. I might go back to community college, <laughs> ITT or something. Oh, she's looking into your swampy brown eye going, you know, there's got to be a better way. <laughs> the, ad, the Craigslist ad was deleted. She looked at the ass and like, what have I become? Yeah, that's funny. Your asshole did what drug addiction couldn't <laughs> and an abusive father couldn't. Your asshole was that, was that girl that I was dating that told me, uh, don't wear the stomach. Yeah, there's always I, there's something. I actually got my, my axe waxed yesterday. Uh, it was so painful. Your ass wax. My ass. Yep. Your ass wax. My yeah. ass wax. What? Well, well, now you fucking talk. me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why my, you got your ass wax? I got my. I just went in and. Why did you my, get the asshole bleached like I, they do in the fucking? Wow. What are you? I'm not a Brazilian <laughs> whore. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What's Did, the purpose for a man to get his ass wax? I was bored. So my wife does that. <laughs> She was, oh, yeah, all his wife. My wife, she, she she does that. Oh, she waxes okay. pussies and fucking all that. Oh, okay. She doesn't do men though. I'm the only guy she does, and uh, she uh, oh, it was so uncomfortable. You have to hold your ass open, and then she puts wax in your ass crack and then rips it out. And I looked at the the cloth with the it looked like a like one of those sticky mouse traps with a mouse in it. <laughs> <laughs> a mouse, a mouse that got away. It was terrible. I was like, what the fuck? Dude, my ass is so clean and hairless. I've actually had re regular masseuses at one time says, do you want a prostate massage? <laughs> you want, <laughs> you've made them into prostate no, no, she was, she was, no, no, she was a girl I used to fuck for money. You have, she such, was, you have such a supple ass that you make really girls want to lick buttery, it. It's buttery soft. I've they don't know it. why. They I've just want to put their ass. face in it. You do got a nice ass. So so what, I, what made you get in shape? Like uh, um, one of the, the things, the, the main thing is well, that that was a turning point, and I just started eating right. I gave up fast foods. I gave up all, all drinks. I only drink water and green tea, and I just started boxing. Boxing is probably one of the things that. But the main thing I did it was eating right, and then and coupled with boxing. But you boxing. have a book. You have a, actually a health book that you're writing or yeah. coming out with. What what is that about? It's just uh, how I did it and and why America have a hard time doing it. Well, it's because you're. I'll tell you one reason. It's because fast food, and, and again, that's what people buy. But you go to the airport, and it's like no wonder everybody's a fat fuck. I can't get anything healthy if I'm going to fly at seven o'clock in the oh, morning. There's no. nothing. It's just shit. It's McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts or fucking bring chips. I, I, used, actually, to I your, used to be able to bring your own food, but since nine one one, you they, they make you, you can throw bring, that shit no, away. You can bring your own food. You your can bring food. food. You can bring food. You can't bring liquid. I bring my own food on planes. I always pack maybe something. A should, big bag of nuts. Should, maybe you should not. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that it's not working? Yeah. Oh, that really hurt, Will. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, all right. If, guy, if, if someone else said it, would be fine, but you have abs. Uh, Will's, <laughs> but Will's actually not, hurts. Will, Will, Will's very proud of his body. Yeah. Um, he really loves shit. Will is shame. He'll actually just hold up a photo on his phone, and yeah. it'll be him with no shirt. Yeah, Will shows up in the winter in a tank top. Yeah. I was doing that when I was fat. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you're not... How long have you been taking boxing? Uh, about a year now. Okay, so you you can uh, 
You have been punched in the face a lot since you've been got, doing this. I got I got knocked out. Who knocked you out? I was sparring this big guy. He was like 190 pounds. I was sparring with 190, and I was 155 at the time. And you had headgear on. I had headgear on. I I didn't get knocked out, but I saw a little star. It was white, and it, it blew up, and the whole room was white. <laughs> Where did he hit you in the right square right, in the fucking jaw? Bam. Was he trying to hurt you or was it was it full? Nah, because I hit him because he was trying to hold, he hold back his punches, but I hit him with a nice gut, bam, and his just natural reaction was like bam. Uh. So, but he could have really fucked you up if he wanted to. Yeah. So, have you been boxing guys who are much faster than you and stronger? Yeah. I love take boxing. I just don't want to get hit. You don't have to get hit. I was just, you could you could box without getting yeah, hit. Yeah, they have classes. Uh, no, what's you that can, called? Pussy fucking. <laughs> it's called pussy shadow sport. It's called shadow it's boxing. Called, it's called fag one on one. Yeah. It's called on, get a mirror, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Put on boxing gloves and a tampon. And you fucking you use tampons for boxing me, gloves. Me, Colin, Dove, David, off and Robinson went down to Astor one night. They have a ring, a, a full size ring at the uh, Crunch, mm -hmm. and we threw the gloves on and we all went out. I chipped Dove's tooth, and you then he, he rattled off four headshots. Oh, he Dove, Dove, box, Dove, Dove is quick, man. Yeah. Dove, I actually hit Colin in the gut. All you heard was, <laughs> I hit him so hard. He was coming in at me. He would literally squat down like he's taking a shit and then <laughs> throw punches on the way up. That was Colin's technique. So when he came, I went against the ropes. He came in me. I hit him with all I could right in the side of his gut. You just heard, <laughs> All so, right, that's enough. That's enough. So Dove was quick. Dove, so I've seen I, Dove shadow box. Yeah. I hit Dove by, I kind of hit him by accident in the face, a good one. And we weren't wearing headgear like assholes. And I chipped it. He just went, it just reacted. It just came out four uh, hooks. Right, left, right, left. Natural right, left. Yeah, natural you know. fucking crack. I was seeing stars, too. Yeah, that's what it is. And you, you literally, everything's going white, and you, your vision just starts closing up. <laughs> how about fucking, uh, how is uh, Keith? Keith didn't do anything. Keith didn't get in the ring. No? No, he had a brand new fucking Sean John on. He wouldn't take it off. Oh, he actually... Idiot. Well, no, I didn't really want to get in the ring with Keith, though, because he's got all that fucking Philly rage. Keith, Keith, yeah, Keith, Keith is strong. Keith is strong. Yeah, Keith is strong. Keith guy. is a... He, well, it was not a beater. Keith is like a... What the hell is he? Like 44? 50. Year old, six. Yeah, he's an old man. He's an old black man from Philadelphia, and he's just Philadelphia black guy. Wearing, wearing hip-hop clothes. He really is. He's a fucking kitten play era idiot. <laughs> yeah. But they're, they're psychos. You know who's... A, I don't know if you guys know Stanley T. He's a DJ here. He's very big in Philly. You know Stanley. Yeah. He's like such a sweet guy, but he's a Philly guy. Yeah. Um, and, and he's just, they're, they're fucking psychopaths. Yeah. Philly guys I don't are fuck with those guys. Those fucking Philly long beards. They all look Shirai like black Smalls rubble strong too. What's that? Sherrod Smalls is strong. Yeah, Sherrod Smalls. Sherrod is retard strength. Yeah. yeah we, and, <laughs> and thought process. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sherrod's a fucking knockout artist. He knows how to knock people out, knock people with lights out. So when is your book coming out? Uh, well, I'll, I'm I'm going to finish it in February, and then hopefully uh, I'm going to self-publish it. Why don't you get a publisher? Self-publishing probably easier. Uh, uh, you think so? I don't know. It's I'm not a, easier. It's harder. It's it a lot is? more work. Yes. What's easier? Go to Simon Spotlight or, or just I'll do all the work? <laughs> it's never easier. <laughs> you should finish it and then shop it around. Get a book agent. Oh, I'll do that. Yeah, Jim said so. Yeah, Jim has two books out. Because Jim Jim Norton is a star. Jim Norton is a fucking is a mediocre Jersey nobody who fucking had a good book agent. I'll put a check next to that. This is called the Jim Norton <laughs> Show, not the Will Sylvan Show. Yeah, well, that's you are true. you are listening to Jim <laughs> yeah. Norton and Wabit, aka Bobby Kelly. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> so we have to take, we have one minute to what? We're done. No wrap. Oh, like this segment. Okay. One minute to this rap. I love when she bosses me around. Oh, do I love it? I love it. I love it, too. I like when she would twirl her finger in she your face. Twirling her finger in my face. <laughs> she's almost, we need Steve back in here because she's distracting. That's why yeah. I get to vaginas when I test them. Like, you put your finger in and you swirl in a circle? <laughs> 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 Jesus. She looks like you're whipping up butter like an Amish lady. <laughs> That's the best technique to make a girl come, the old butter whip. They love that. It works. You use a stick. All right, the bit we're going to play Sorry. right now. <laughs> That's butter churn. <laughs> Very funny guy. Unfortunately, shot himself. Uh, <laughs> oh, I have to introduce him like that. <laughs> it was big coffee all over both of you and the computers. Dude. I think he would have appreciated that intro. Uh, really nice dude, man. He, he was a, Unfortunately, he was a, the best part was in a soap dish. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant comic, fucking yeah, uh, Richard, Richard Jenny. Here's Richard Polished. Jenny. Beauty and the East. Another really good reason to watch the late night TV instead of the daytime TV is they have a lot of disgusting medical products on in the middle of the day. Did yeast infections get to be a big problem <laughs> just in the last few years? Because I never heard about them before and suddenly they were dominating the airwaves like the OJ track. 
I still don't even know what a yeast infection is. I figured out they have something to do with the number seven, apparently. And the other thing I've noticed is that a lot of good-looking women get them. Because the woman on the commercial is always really beautiful. That's why I stop. I'm flipping around quick, quick. Hey, she's a babe. Who's that? Well, she's looking right in the camera. No shame. Hello. You know, I've got a yeast infection so revolting that the Atlanta Center for Disease Control is circling my home in a chopper. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Isn't that a little blunt in the middle of the after-school special? I know women have the problems and they need to know the products that'll help them. I'm just saying make it a little more humorous. We're fooling Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> We're replacing her ordinary yeast infection medicine with a mixture of whole wheat flour and water. <laughs> Let's watch as Mr. Johnson comes home from a hard day at the office. Hey, honey, what a day I had today. Hey, hey, is that a Kaiser roll? I thought the house smelled great today. Stay where you are, I'll put on some coffee. Middle of the day, little kids are home. There's a guy on TV going, hello, I'd like to talk to you about an itch so private. It's not so private anymore, itchy butt man. The guy sells Anusol butt itching medicine. I had no idea that butt itch was a medical condition. I mean, I was thought your butt itched if you didn't wash your butt enough. And you don't need Anusol, perhaps, you know, Lysol is what you should be using. But this guy has medical butt itch. And she has yeast. What else is out there that people aren't talking about yet? Hello, are you one of the 15 million men suffering from exploding scrotum syndrome? How many times has your scrotum exploded, causing your testicles to rocket through the office, possibly ruining that important sales presentation? Let's watch this reenactment. <laughs> Say, Bob, why the long face? It's this damn exploding scrotum syndrome. One of my nuts bounced right off the chairman's forehead. I'll never get that big account now. Why'd you try what I use? Scroat Secure, huh? That's right. Try Scroat Secure for 30 days. And if it doesn't work, bring your balls to the pharmacy for a full refund. I'm the pharmacist. Can I help you? Terribly sorry, uh, you do have the receipt. What's going on here? Well, this guy doesn't have the receipt. Oh, for God's sake, give him the two dollars. Well, you said they always have, forget what I said, the guy's got his nuts in his hand. <laughs> Middle of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, I'd like to talk to you about diarrhea. Hey, hey, hey. It's always the same thing, right? It's always a guy who gets the diarrhea on the commercial at an inconvenient moment. As if you've ever been in a city. You know, this would be a great time to get the runs, don't you think, Bob? I mean, the sun's out, we're on the Ferris wheel. What are we waiting for? And, but that's always the commercial. The guy gets the diarrhea at a bad time. It's always a commercial like, good luck on the scaffold, Jim. I'll sure need it with his diarrhea, John. When? When would you want that romantic situation, folks? That'd be a good time. You know, honey, the kids are away. We got both bathrooms to ourselves, huh? I'm thinking we'd chill this bottle of Mexican water I've been saving. You put that shrimp salad under the sun lamp for eight, nine hours. We'll slap on some deep ends and see if we, you know, there really are. Two good times to get diarrhea. When you're behind in your reading and when your cellmate makes his move. Those are the only two times. But you never get a break like that when you need it. Dies and every person I like drops dead. Well, that means I'm going to live for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm going to uh, tell uh, Will so Vince. Paul Bob, before I forget, because she's Raw Dog, Sirius 104, XM 150. All right, good. 
Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Will Sylvents has a shortcut film festival, which he started. Uh, and is the president of right? Uh, yeah, the founder. And I, uh, NBC um, is is my backer. They they produce it with me, which yeah. is a really big deal. Short, yeah, short. We we, we um, showcase some best unknown short films. So where do you do? How long have you been doing that? This, this is the fifth anniversary. How do I not know this about Will? And sex, I don't get invited to this shit. Sex, yes, you do. Sex. You just don't go to the nothing black. Uh, true. You, it, you 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 put your spam on uh, to screen any any black. <laughs> That is true. Any anytime the words celebration and black <laughs> are in the same sentence, it goes right to spam. Actually, the festival is not about black only. It's a, a, any minority, Indian, Spanish, um, still not white. Keep going. <laughs> well, no. it's, it's to promote. It's to help get minorities to work with white, the white world. That's the whole what the festival is basically about. To so we could work together. You mean like short... Uh, Bobby, go ahead. It's, uh, let me just get out the dates here. Okay. Uh, Shortcut Film Festival, September 21st and the 22nd. Yes. And go, where is it going to be at? Uh, I forget the location, but go to uh, NBCShortcuts.com for more info. Okay. And how many artists are going to be? How many films and how long are about, the movies? The movie is about 10 minutes long. The, oh. the, the whole show is about an hour and a half. That's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the short. All right, cool. Shortcuts. And uh, all right, and so. it, it used to be called comedy shortcuts, but then we kept we kept getting so many good films that's not comedy. So now it's comedy, drama, sci-fi, and horror. Will's a talented guy. You did a uh, he showed us a commercial for HBO, which he made. Boxing and after dark. Boxing after dark. It was really it was like a movie. I would have. I, I thought it was a movie. I would have. I would have definitely checked that. You should out. make that yeah. into one of your short films. Just don't call it boxing after. It was really good. Yeah, okay. It's basically a guy who's homeless, who say you know works, saves all his money, begs for money, sells whatever he has to just to get boxing uh, yeah. training. Well, actually, there's a campaign I'm doing called Legends. At the end, it's going to be it's going to show Legends are not made under the spotlight, and it's just a bunch of movies like that of of, of people struggling, grinding, and grinding. To, you need to, to make a promo for me. Okay. Yeah, you just do me shirtless, like pan up my side <laughs> over my man tits. <laughs> what, what do you look like without a shirt on? Um. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think. Something you see under a fucking microscope. Take my thumb. Take my thumb and draw a face on it with a marker. <laughs> <laughs> take one of my ass cheeks and put a smiley face. Make the crack the smile. <laughs> Why will? Why do you have to? Why do you have to hurt, have to hurt someone's feelings? <laughs> so, I can't remember. I'm trying to get on my MySpace. I haven't been there in a year. I can't even remember my fucking. Can you believe how big that fucking I, thing I was? I couldn't remember my MySpace passport either. God, for real? Could I, not. I, I, well, a I, good thing I got my my thing my uh, Windows to save my passwords because I, I would forget that shit. Yeah, I would have had that too if I didn't go to so many sexually addictive sites where I <laughs> certainly don't want the password saved. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Certain things you just don't want popping up. Do you like porn? You don't yeah, do porn. I love porn. You do porn. You I don't do it. I what love kind it. of porn? Uh, straight porn. <laughs> no, 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 I don't mean that. <clears throat> but I mean like uh, black guys, blonde chicks, just regular porn, oh, anal I, porn, blowjobs. No anal, but any any race, any, just fucking anything. Yeah. I love porn. It's amazing how much women are, in, like every time I watch porn, like I got 10 sites saved. And every site they and everything show you like a hundred videos, and every video women are not repeated. How many women are doing porn? How come I haven't run into them? A lot of well, they're all in the porn capital is in uh, California. It's in fucking oh god, I know where it is. It's it, it's L.A., but it's uh, the Valley. Yeah, it is the Valley. I can't remember the fucking which where AVN is uh, the adult video news. I think it's called. But is that where all the all the, but there's so many women doing all porn? All L.A. More ninety percent of it's fucking L.A. Yeah, but By they, the way, all, they come from the Midwest, though. Most of these broads. Congratulations to fucking butt man John Stalliano. Uh, was a qu all, all charges thrown out of court. He was in, he was up facing thirty years in jail. Oh yeah. Because what? of what? I forget the details. Because they fucking uh, people went after him and they said that uh, obscenity. It's this community standards garbage. And uh, oh, well, if my buddy Joey Silvera is one of his movies. And, oh yeah, uh, Butt Man. That was a, you know another, Man, right? yeah, another Legend. great, great porn. I love his shit. Butt Man. Didn't he have a show on Showtime? Who's the guy with know. Showtime? Honestly, Remember that know. he they had a reality show with a porn guy. No, that was uh, Adam or something. I know yeah. who you mean. Not him. I should probably know. I, it. I think Butt Man was the first porn I seen with Brazilian chicks. Yeah, he fucked a lot of Brazilians. A like, lot of oh them. Oh my god, these women was hot as hell. Is that you, Bobby? That's oh my a, God! That's me. Bobby's holding up a fucking picture. It, it it looks like holy a, shit. It looked like yeah. a black, a white whale. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. 
It's like a small mountain with a hat. I took that photo. <laughs> <laughs> look at my arm, though. It's just awful. I took that photo. You look like the white precious. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Ralphie May. <laughs> I took that photo and my wife went like this. She went, uh, she, I should go, look, this one after I lost some weight. I, she go, I go, look at this one. She goes, oh my God, baby. I'm like, bitch, you were there. You took the fucking photo. She just didn't know. You're the one who told me I looked fine. She knew. She knew she was married to a blouse. <laughs> A fucking, What's a blouse? That's a fat person. <laughs> In what language? Yeah. My language. It's the first girl I ever fucking played with my dinky. It was called the blouse. She was just a fucking mess, like Jabba the Hutt. All right. She, yeah, she played with my ding ding in a rhubarb bush. Wait, Bobby, how did you get? How did you get? Let yourself get that big. What happened? Dude, this right here, dude. I look. I go into major depressions all the time. Even in the like this. This last couple like weeks have been fucking great with Curb shows. Uh, you know the Louis thing. Everything's been great. I'm still in the middle of the afternoon thinking about killing myself. Why? Just lying what are you on the. About? You got a great life, dude. You know what? It doesn't matter how great it is. One thing, one phone call can go off, and I literally. I don't drink. I don't use drugs. I'm trying not to fucking bang hookers or. Try Trying not to do any, you know, I'm trying to sexually keep that into control. I had to start smoking again because I tried to quit smoking. I just don't have it. I was fucking when snapping. Did you start? I started uh, two weeks ago. So get back off it. You're going to yeah, die of cancer. Just... I'd rather I die of cancer than fucking You can stay be off the... cigarettes. You can do it. I will get back off it, but i got to get the weight on. I feel better already weight-wise. You, you could do both. Yeah, yeah I know. But you I just don't lose weight by fucking getting it because they're going to take a pee. You see Roger Ebert? Let, watch him try to whistle. It's fucking horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> His fucking jaws. <laughs> gone and he didn't even smoke yeah man yeah. what the fuck is wrong with you yeah what are you gonna do what you I, gonna do you gonna stop smoking cigarettes you faggot they're fucking i'm gonna be get cancer i'll be bald and depressed anyways that, I'll, get, be I'll great, get to i'll get to eat pancakes that would be a great commercial though stop smoking faggot <laughs> <laughs> that should be your anti-smoking campaign just stop smoking faggot. i got cologne coming out called taint 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 body cologne i don't know that you started Stuck like your a dad. hard place and an asshole <laughs> <laughs> if I had more coffee in this, I'd throw it on him. I, al I almost smashed my iPad over his head, and I love my iPad. And I'm enjoying my coffee. <laughs> You said that like you said that like an old school actor. <laughs> you said and that like Archie Bunker. And I enjoy my coffee. Um, uh, the lovely Christine is giving us the rap song. We have to play, I guess, one more. Do you your finger like that in his face again? Yeah. Mm, she's right. Oh, my God. I love her. Uh, she's she does dumb. That. Can we have them both? I love Steve, oh but can God. we have her back, too, just to hang over? As and far as I'm concerned, goes wrong? Christine, there's going to be a crunchy sock in your Steve name tonight. Steve can go through the window in a drunk driving wreck, as far oh, as I'm on, concerned. Come on. Christine is here. Steve is for good. That's cousin. Brucey coming in. All right. Uh, so thank you, Will, for being here. Thank um, you for having me. I had a great time. I want to come back. Uh, we got Will. So Vince is going to be at Caroline's September 16th through the 19th. Yep. It's going to be your show. Go to carolines.com uh, for tickets. Or oh, the phone number is... Uh, 212 4100 and we're going to play Bill Burr down south, and you can follow me on Twitter if you want, Jim Norton, to find out what I'm up to. A lot of exciting, yes. nothing is going on. And Will Silvins on Twitter. And Robert Kelly on Twitter. All right, guys, thanks a lot, Will. You're great. Thank Will you, buddy. Will 1L. Thank you. Bye. It's nice to be back here down in the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming. <laughs> and it's coming hard. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A. It's going to be with the R. And he hit the R. He like stuck the landing. It was like a dismount. <laughs> clan members high-fiving in the background, like doing the wave. Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder like, dude, what the hell are you doing? You know what I mean? I'm waiting for, like, this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of, like, a potential ass-kicking that I had nothing to do with. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word, hot potato, just threw it in my lap. Like, ah. <laughs> Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. <laughs> Ask
ask some questions. Do you like to fish? Have you ever fucked your sister, right? I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. You give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. You don't just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash. He would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> you know those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you? Their eyes are up. You just shut up and play the game! <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut up!